All right, so our next presenter is Joel Pett. Joel Pett has been a Pulitzer finalist for editorial cartooning in four different decades. He claims to be the only guy in America with a Pulitzer, an Emmy, and a hole-in-one. Of course, he claims a lot of things. Joel? All right. I'd like it to be noted that however far we are behind time at the moment, none of it has anything to do with either me or Tom Tolles, uh, who, is, who is up next. And uh, if you don't do anything else while you're here, stay and hear him, because he's going to tell us, apparently, the five secrets of cartooning, which the rest of us has, have been waiting our whole lives to learn. <laughs> I know. God, where was he 20 years ago? Um, I, am I the only one that Matt Worker came up to beforehand and warned about language? <laughs> I said, what do you, Matt, what do you mean? He said, you know, it's open to the public. There could be kids. Uh, I said, well, more specific. He said, well, you, they probably won't want to hear the F word. I said, all right, is that it? He said, well, maybe not the C word. I said, all right. So they don't want to hear me say fundamentalist Christian. <laughs> or cartoon fest. Or cat food, food fight, fight club, club foot, foot cream, cream corn, cornflakes. <laughs> Fried calamari. Fried chicken. Fecal coliform contaminated fried chicken. <laughs> From corporate factory farms, fresh for Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Closeted CEO. Come on, folks, cage free. <laughs> Courting couples, finding chemistry. Candlelight, fresh cut flowers, champagne, caviar, fire, fillets, chocolate covered flan, con creme fraiche. Conceivably, uh, classic film channel, Frank Capra, Cape Fear, Carol Channing, clock climbing Charlie Chaplin, finally frocked Catholic father figures fondling cherubic choir boys, <laughs> creating future college football coaches, <laughs> far cry from Christian. Cute, curvaceous, flirtatious, comely, fetching, carbon footprint, flaunting French chicks cruising California, Florida, and Colorado freeways in fast cars. Classic Ferraris, Ford convertibles, Chevy Corvettes. Clad in cleavage clinging... Crap, forgot. <laughs> Caught flat-footed. Focus, concentrate. Clad in cleavage-clinging cotton chemises, cocked chapeau, carrying fake Fendi full of credit cards. Costume-completing frou-frou canine companion. Chihuahua. Cockapoo. Cherchez la femme. Finally, cartoons. I just had to get that out of my system. And you know what? I don't really see any children. Yeah. You know, that's not really a manly enough tool, I gotta say. Sharpie king size. Gotta go with the magnum. In America, you name an art instrument after a killing machine, that is marketing. <laughs> you know, I am, to, not only could I never, what did he say, he could, now I couldn't do a watercolor if I tried. Well, at least I've never tried. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you know, one of the five worst caricaturists in the whole business. I just wait till Tolls figures it out and then copy them, you know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, if I waited till I could do it, I'd only get somebody right before they uh, went out of office. So uh, um, I've had the, uh, the distinct pleasure of, uh, of working in Kentucky for, uh, for uh, 28 years. And if 
the South, of course, is a uh, is an embarrassment of riches, as Clay is discovering. Um, actually, the whole industry is a, uh, or the whole uh, culture is a uh, an embarrassment of riches. Election years, especially, um, I'm convinced that uh, since Mitt Romney is definitely better off than he was four years ago, the stock market has doubled. He'll probably vote for Obama. <laughs> and after watching the Republican convention and all the uh, um, attention paid to people who worked hard and pulled themselves up and made something great out of themselves. Well, nobody's done more than Barack Obama to fit that. So I guess they'll vote for him. Um, the other thing that was uh, great this summer that writes itself are all those Olympic uh, uh, comparisons, right? My favorite part of the Olympics was uh, the guy running with the uh, prosthetic limbs. Right? Did you see that? You're running on those things that they, uh, you know, don't say nothing good ever came out of war, you know, because we've invented the best prosthetic limbs anywhere. And there were actually people complaining, acting like having no legs was an advantage in a foot race. <laughs> that's, the, that's the Olympic spirit, isn't it? <laughs> the limbless, cheating bastard. <laughs> Pretty soon the Chinese will just cut their kids' legs off. You'll see. <laughs> The guy didn't even win, but who gives a shit? I wouldn't care if he strapped on 100-meter long fake limbs, stood at the starting line, and just went, whoa, boom. You know, the Wile E. Coyote imprint at the end, right? Face plant, boom, gold medal. New world record, 1.3 seconds. <laughs> Slashing eight seconds off the old one. Way to go. Yeah, the, the Chick-fil-A thing, too, that uh, Clay referred to happened this summer. And I, I looked this up. Not only is there homosexual activity among chickens, but there's a name for it in the industry. I swear to God. It's called cock mounting. Because <laughs> it, like, messes with your production if you get a bunch of cock mounters in there who aren't producing any other chicken. <laughs> I'm serious. It was on the Internet. <laughs> I didn't say I stumbled on it. I was looking for lettering to trace, okay? <laughs> so anyway, for those of you uh, non-cartoonists, there's like some, uh, some things about caricature that I just love once I figure out how to do it from Tom. Uh, and that is that you take, uh, uh, you take um, one of the uh, bushes, for example, and at this point you don't know which one it is, right? Because that DNA and whatever gene makes you want to bomb Baghdad are in all of the bushes. But like uh, Poppy Bush had that big tall head and glasses. But uh, W, despite that same simian muzzle, had almost no head and then those big uh, elf ears. And what's great about that is once you get that, you can do it in any proportions and it's still him. Like the, the muzzle can go like that and the elf ears can go like that. And it's still him. Like it doesn't matter. You could silly putty it up and uh, stretch it and everything. And uh, uh, I'm so worried about my time because of the way they treated poor Jack. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. So um, in Kentucky, I have the uh, privilege of having the two worst United States senators. Uh, I've had Mitch McConnell to myself for like two decades, and then I all of a sudden, everybody's doing it. Um, and then Rand Paul uh, is the other one. So it just doesn't get better than that. And nobody else in the state working in the business to make me look bad or, uh, you know, do a better caricature of them than me. But uh, my favorite is McConnell. Does it look like him yet? <laughs> He's very wrinkly and lumpy and uh, constipated looking and uh, just disagreeable in general, which is great. Oh, crap. Q. Uh, the green arrow, I'm guessing? Thank you. Uh, pointed up there somewhere. 
Okay, I like to draw a lot of stuff about big, big stuff. Uh, black soldiers. I'm sorry, you've already read this. It's been up there for like minutes. nine minutes and fifty-one <laughs> seconds. Um, okay, we'll skip it. I can never figure out why low housing prices are this big problem. We're the only country in the world. Crap, cheap places to live. <laughs> this is like I've drawn 7,000 cartoons in my life, but really only one. Something, this one went so crazy, and still is, two years later. Uh, like, they put it on billboards in Australia as part of an ultimately successful uh, green campaign. Some nut in uh, Canada ha commissioned an art student to paint it on their garage, like, 30 feet wide and 10 feet tall. I mean, it's been licensed over and over and over and over and over and over for all this stuff. It's like I never did anything else. And it's an example of one of these ideas that I had in my head for like 10 years before I realized I hadn't cartooned it, which I, I was thinking, you know, it doesn't matter if global warming were a hoax, like if the scientists made it up, we still have to do all that shit, you know. Okay, you get it. This whole, uh, this again, uh, Kentucky and Tennessee. I, I did this whole cartoon just so I could draw Newton and Adam together with this <laughs> apple bouncing off the... What a disappointment Obama's been on that security stuff, huh? And the war on drugs. There's, they overlap. You can't fly with pot anymore. That just sucks. <laughs> okay, so here are my, uh, uh, my incarnations of uh, Mitch McConnell. And this, I was hoping there were some children in the audience because I wanted to like, give them a little primer and bring one up. Are there any kids out there? Come here, kid. Come up here, kid. Come on. Hustle. I'm running out of time. You're just a prop anyway. Just pretend there's a kid here and that that kid came. Okay, so I have drawn McConnell here as a, uh, a prostitute, um, as a, uh, like a cancer patient with a uh, bush-shaped uh, growth on his back, uh, partially naked, and then fully naked uh, except for the uh, j uh, jester hat. Uh, surrounded by money, um, and then as money, uh, both paper and, uh, and uh, coin. It's, it's important to, uh, you know, branch out, do things uh, differently. So then as a, a turtle uh, and money, and then as a turtle bank, um, and as a dinosaur along with um, uh, former Senator uh, Jim Bunning, and uh, uh, Lick Spittle, um, and uh, Cry Baby. These are all very important things. But, and that's supposed to be blue. I don't know what's the matter. Does it look black out there? Is it just me? Um, it's supposed to be a blue dress, okay? And so when Ken Starr... When uh, McConnell, you know, uh, was the big uh, force in the Senate against uh, McCain-Feingold, um, despite the fact they've got that muck in common. And, uh, and so he hired Ken Starr to fight McCain-Feingold. And so I drew him as the semen stain on the... You see why I wanted the kid up here, right? Um, <laughs> on the blue dress of democracy, which I think my paper is the only paper in the country that would publish a cartoon of their uh, uh, United States senator as a uh, semen stain. I'm, we're, I'm very proud of that. Um, ooh, 28 seconds. I'm just gonna count it down. I think that's it. I came in under time.
but only because I forgot to say how awesome Rob's talking to